everyone, this is Carrie Steller from MMA UK and in the girls corner and I'm here at the Summer Vibes Tattoo Festival with TUF2 alumni Luke Cuomo. Luke, how the hell are you? Cheerio, <laughs> MMA UK, across the pond. <laughs> we do, this is across the pond and we're doing a little uh, interview here at the Summer Vibes Tattoo Festival. Luke's a really good friend of mine. Shit, I hope you guys can hear this. Um, Luke has his tournament coming up when? So, I created a, a league for MMA with a new regulatory system that's safer because he personally, I couldn't compete under those rules anymore. I'm gonna be 40 years old soon. I have kids, I work with kids, I work with people of all skill levels, and I think that with my new regulatory system, everybody could get the MMA experience without the injuries that I've had, which include broken bones, dislocated joints, traumatic brain injury, and I feel as a martial artist and a leader, that it's our responsibility to protect the young up-and-comers. So I have Master Luki's League of Champions, and I have the Long Island Championship, which is in about six weeks from yesterday. And we're gonna have it, Luki's gonna have it at uh Comac MMA, I'm going to be there doing interviews, doing the media work, it's going to be a lot of fun. And you know, I mean, at the end of the day, a person like me, that's, I have crazy injuries in my shoulders, I have, my hands are a little injured. So for a person like me that still wants to compete, or if I do ever want to compete, I can know that I can safely compete in uh, Luke's tournaments, which is really great, because at the end of the day, I don't want to get any more injured than I am already, which is pretty bad. So I know that if I went and wanted to compete in any of Luke's tournaments, uh, the League of Champions, I would do it at a safe level where I wouldn't get injured and I would be able to walk away and go, wow, that was really great for me, but, you know, it's not, it's not, you're not going to get hurt, you're not going to have to sit in the hospital, you're not going to, you know, have five weeks out of training if you got an injury. Well, it's still a contact sport. Oh, of course. <laughs> you, still get, you can still get banged up and there's always going to be a risk of injury because the martial arts, you know, the word and the techniques comes from the battlefield. These are techniques that, when, when properly applied, result in injury and death. What I've done is make the the um, make the, the rules. I mean, basically, to get MMA sanctioned, they had to take out headbutts, yes. biting, you know, the certain Gouging. things. They, yeah. So they made it a sport. And all I'm doing is continuing that line by making it more of a sport, adding more regulations. And I, because we're uh, protected here yeah, in, the, in the combat, but in the jujitsu, they they don't. Yeah. So uh, there's a there is a, a grappling aspect to it, um, but right now I'm focusing just on the MMA. Let's see, uh, everything's padded from head to toe. Okay. Uh, everybody. Let's see. Uh, everybody has headgear. Tell me about you. Yeah, headgear just in case. Headgear just in case. Elbow pads, you know, shin pads. Basically, if they make it, we wear it. And um, let's see. Uh, what else? Uh, there's a. Uh, there's a. Uh, I think there's there's a great need for what we're going to be promoting, but people just don't know about it yet. Well, what they would say to me is, I'll say, okay, so there's no head contact and no finishes. They go, oh, what do you mean no finishes? Like, isn't the purpose to kill to kill the other person, basically? So you have to think of it a little bit as uh, a metaphor for life. Now, if you're in the UK, you train MMA, you know that this is a lifestyle, you know, fight life. You apply these lessons that you learn of discipline, focus, uh, 
improving yourself in any area of your life. I tell my students all the time, if you can push yourself in the gym, you can push yourself in school. You can do your chores at home, whatever it is. So, and that's like the, one of the reasons why I call it the League of Champions, because these people dedicate themselves. And to me, you should be recognized as such. Whether it's for your, for your business, for your family, if you dedicate yourself to me, automatically you're, you should be considered to be a champion. So with my point system now, instead of trying to injure each other, you're trying to score points, and then everybody gets their points at the end of the match. No matter who gets a higher score, you're gonna walk away with your points. And eventually, as this becomes a worldwide phenomenon, we'll have a scoreboard of leaders. So you may have you might have the champion, the high score champion of the United Kingdom, but the world high score champion might be from Brazil. But you never know. I'm just at the very early stages right now. I'm, I'm lucky to connect with some powerful people where I'm at. We're going to build it up on Long Island, in New York, the Empire State, and then start the, the World Tour. But this event coming up is the Long Island Championship. There's Kids Division. There's a Beginner Division, which goes all the way up to Blue Belt. So you have people who can be a white belt in jiu-jitsu, but maybe they're a really good wrestler, or maybe they're a really good kickboxer. If you can get up to a blue belt level, okay, you're gonna be in the beginner slash intermediate division. Anybody above that's gonna be in the, inter, in the advanced division. The, inter, the beginners are fighting for $500 prize money. And the way that that works is based on their score. So basically, I have my program from the last event that I did. And um, you have, let's see if we can bring this close to the camera. Tommy, let me know if you can see this, right? So you have um, this idea where you're automatically getting points. Like I said, you're automatically a champion to me. So as soon as the match begins, you're getting points. Now you start to do your moves, you're getting more points. Now in this case, the person got into a position which maybe is like a rear naked choke or a mounted position where they get the position, they get the points for that, and then they hold the position so they continue to get points. Okay, now you have two fighters in this example here. One of them got an 81, one of them got a 62. This is from zero to 100 at the end of their five minute match. Now in a, in a tournament, we have four people. There's no finishes, so everybody faces each other once. That's a round robin style tournament. So at the Single end of the- elimination? No elimination. Okay. Round robin style, because everybody's a champion. Everybody gets their, their time in the cage. In this, in this time, uh, in this uh, tournament coming up, it's going to be a cage, okay? So at the end of the tournament, of the four-man tournament, everybody has three matches, and then the whole tournament, you end up with 12 scores, because there's four guys, they each had three matches, that's 12 scores, that's the tournament score. So each fighter has the tournament score, they have their personal score, now you have a fraction. So they walk away with a percentage of the pot money. Everybody gets paid. It's not like only the winner gets paid. And then to get a little bit out there with the theory, okay, you have this type, this concept called the double dragon mm -hmm. or the twin flames where you have two people that are working together. Yep. Not just like Combating two people feet. fighting, or you only have one champion, you have half you have half your success. In this case, you have two people working together to score points because without your sparring partner, who are you gonna, who are you gonna fight? Okay, we need each other. Yeah. So this is an individual sport, but it's also a team sport. So there's a lot of potential, and if you're watching in the UK, just know that I'll be your way eventually. Like I said, it's the beginning stages, but I do believe that everybody in the world as part of one family. And you know, you could get into a fight with your brother or your sister and then be cool after that. So it's still very competitive, trust me on that. Awesome.
awesome. And you know, we'll be bringing you all updates here on MMA UK. You can find us at MMAUK.net. We are MMA UK on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Check here for updates. We're gonna have all of Hoogie's tournament information. We're gonna have all of the dates coming up, interviews and everything, and uh, pictures from everything. So again, check out We Are MMA UK, MMA UK on Facebook, and MMAUK.net on the web. You can find all of the information, all of our fight updates. And Luki, thank you so much for doing an interview with me and hanging out with me. Luke's a really My good pleasure. friend, and uh, we look forward to doing a lot of work with you in the future. Same here. And